Icarus dreamed of setting his own course. But his destiny had been sealed for generations. The original myth of Icarus about a boy fashioning some wax wings and against his father's advice flying too near the sun and crashing into the sea, it always disturbed me because it basically seems to say that if you go against authority for courageous you're going to pay for it with your life. And as a scientist it became so clear to me that that's not what discovery is about. Discovery is about going against authority. It is about doing what you're not supposed to do and you don't die for it. Instead, what often happens is you have to acclimate to a new reality based on the new discoveries that you've revealed. And that's what happens to the boy in Icarus at the Edge of Time. Yeah, so I knew Philip Glass from having done an event with him some years earlier. He loves science, so it was sort of a natural conversation that he and I had going over the course of a number of years. And when I had this idea to rewrite the myth of Icarus in a futuristic version, it was written for the stage. Ultimately, it came out as a book first, but it was written for the stage, and I did have in mind Philip as the composer because he loves the ideas, but also the ability of his music to really push a story forward into a dramatic place is so powerful that I really had in mind that that was the score that this story needed. The collaboration with Philip was, was absolutely great. He wanted to know the scientific ideas, so at first we met and I stood at a blackboard and I lectured to him on black holes, and he took in as much as he could. And then he started writing the music, and there's actually one time he called me, it was like 11, I don't know, 11.30 at night, he called me at home and said, Brian, I think I've got the music for when Icarus is near the black hole, but I'm not sure if it's right. Can you come down to my studio? And I was like, sure. And I went down and in the village in Manhattan, it was sort of like this New York moment kind of thing, and, and he played the music and we went back and forth on it, and he was open to suggestions. And he modified the music based on some of the scientific ideas that I explained to him, and really it all just came together.